Hello, welcome back to Digital Games Design. This is lesson three. Um, last lesson we got the character moving. Uh, this lesson we're going to get the character moving the boxes around. Uh, make sure that it can't go outside the walls. Um, and also making the box itself um, so they can't be pushed. If there's two boxes, the box can't be pushed out of the wall. Okay, so the, the core mechanics of the game. Right, so the easiest way to stop the character getting out of the box is to use a thing called a collision. This will basically check when this character hits a certain object. So when the character hits the wall, what we're going to do is we're going to basically change the speed back down to zero. So we've already got this on here. I'm just going to copy that and paste. Okay, so you're going to set the direction speed to zero. So when it hits the wall, it's going to stop. This will apply to any direction. Uh, we're not going to change the animations because it's going to set face the same way. So we'll just give that a test. Okay, that's working. Okay, so you can see that it's coming through the wall. Now, there is a little issue with this sometimes. Um, because the actual object itself is initially set to just visible. Okay, now I'll just change that there so you can see if we play this now, the chances are it's not going to work. Okay, so you can see that it's going to go through. So just make sure that that's ticked to solid when you're actually doing this particular thing. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move the box. So I'm going to go back to the player object and we're going to use a collision again. So when it collides with the box, we want it to do something. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to make the box jump to point. Okay, so if we look on here, so on movement you've got jump to point, so I'm going to drag this on, and what we're going to do, we're going to change the speed, okay, so if we use the object player, okay, so that's the actual object the player, and you can also access lots of different sort of items for this if you just press dot and you're going to get lots of things coming up here okay and um, what we're looking for is a thing called h speed okay which is the horizontal speed of our item okay so this is the horizontal speed of the player we're going to do the same The vertical speed as well. Okay, and we're also going to set this to relative. Okay, so what that means is it's going to be um, relative to this particular item. Okay, uh, another thing to note as well when you're using variables. Um, this at the moment is going to apply to self, which is the player. Now we don't want the player to move, this is just going to make the player move faster. So what we actually want to do is we want the box to move. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to select the other. So okay, so the, the player's collided with the box, the box is the other item, and that's the thing we want to move. Okay. And you can also see that this outline of the box has turned to purple sort of shows that it's basically using something from outside of this this item. Okay, so we play that now. That should work. OK, 
Okay, so yeah, so you can see we're pushing the box. He's actually got stuck in the box there. Huh? Okay, which is not very really good. Okay, well that's something we're gonna fix now. Alright, so a big problem we've got with the box itself is that the box is sort of not snapping to the grid, so that's sort of moving out of position because the player is snapping to grid. So basically what's happening is the player will be snapping within the box. Okay, so we need to change that. So what we're going to do first of all then is we're going to snap that box to its own sort of position. Alright, so we're going to go to the actual box itself. So I'll just open this again. And we go to our object box. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to make this snap to position every time you um, release the key. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to do. So key up again, left, and we're going to snap to grid. Okay, I'm going to do this for every item. So as you can see that's that's done. So that's now going to snap that box in position. That may have solved the problem, we'll just see. Okay, so um, I think what the problem is is the fact that this box again solid is not ticked. So ticking solid should solve that particular issue. Okay, so yeah, you can see now the, the box is snapping to the grid as well. So that is now working much more smoothly than it was. Uh, as you can see you can push boxes into boxes, you can push the boxes through the wall but we can't go through the wall. So there's still a few things we need to fix. So that, they are the two things. We don't want the box to go through the wall and we don't want a box to be able to be pushed if there's another box in that particular direction. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to use um, an end step on the actual box itself. So we're going to add an event and we're going to add an end step. So this is like at the end of a cycle. It's going to check this particular thing. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to look if there's an object of a specific type. There, so let's have a look for object. Okay, so we want a specific object, so we're going to go for if a specific object is there, and that particular object is going to be a box. Okay, so we're in the box, but if there's another box that's basically right next to it. So you're trying to push it against this box, then we're going to set the speed to zero. Okay, so if I just get back to your speed. Okay. 
and also when we do the speed we want this to be the speed of our player okay and we're going to set that to zero okay once we've done that we're actually going to snap it in place again as well just to tidy that up okay so you can see there if there's another box there then it's going basically going to stop the player from pushing which will stop stop it from moving so we should now not be able to push two boxes at the same time we're going to basically duplicate that as well and we're going to use a wall for this as well okay again that's going to apply to the player and we're going to snap it into position so basically if that box is being pushed against the wall it's just going to tell the player to stop to stop pushing okay so if we just check that now see how that looks So as you can see now we've got a box which has gone through a wall which isn't good right okay so I think the reason that's not working is because the object itself is targeting itself so we want this to be other and the same with this one because it's the other box that we're thinking about so if we try that now hopefully that will work no okay so looking at this the one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to set this to relative so that is basically saying it's going to be relative position to this particular item same for this one and that should now solve our problem okay so let's try and push two boxes into each other as you can see now they are moving. Let's try and push this into the wall. That's also not moving. Okay. Great. That's it for this session. The next session we're going to um, get the boxes to go into the pallets. I'm going to show you how to draw the score. Uh, possibly move on to the next level as well if we've got time. Uh, so thank you for listening.